helping you out. Bro, you live in Detroit, Mexican, and I'm weirding you out? Bro, you're weirding me out. You live in Detroit. I mean, I fear for your life already. And you talking about I wear a Jew out? Pfft. You must never leave your house. If I wear a Jew out, pfft. look, scaredy cat. And can't spell weird. <laughs> his his eyes went cross-eyed. I'm not going to do it because I got a headache. I go cross-eyed. I cannot fix. I, I be thinking I can't fix my eyes all day. I ain't doing it. I'm gonna keep my eyes straight. So he's saying you can't be busting on me like that, brother. Just cause I, if I'm not your cup of tea, then don't take a sip. I mean, just free advice. You don't have to drink me. But if you want to take a sip, open your mouth. I'm coming in. Now that's weird. That 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 weirded me out. Okay. Now you made me get weird. So that's your fault, Zane. You did that to yourself. Okay? No guys, I do not want to be in his mouth. It's disgusting. The same. Oh, you never know, but this is not what it is. I'm not interested in Detroit or Zane. Detroit or Zane. I, I He's a good friend or a friend, maybe a high-fiver. But, you know, it'd be one of those things. See, he wouldn't get the hug. The hugs are only special. You can't get up in my zone. This is my zone. Hey, you girls know what I'm talking about. You guys don't be hugging just anybody. I know you all ain't be hugging just anybody. And then when somebody goes for a hug that you don't like, what do you do? You bring in that shoulder. You know, you do that football shoulder move that daddy taught you, right? Or your brother or, or somebody, maybe a boyfriend or son taught you. You know, it's like somebody going for a hug. They be, you know, like you don't get the boobies. The boobies are registered for certain people. Some people come in and they'll hug you and they're like, bring them titties in. Boom. And then that's a hug, right? And then there's creepy people like Zane. You would be like, yeah. No boob for you. Like, you know, the, the soup Nazi? No soup for you. He'd be like, no boob for you. And I know another girl that does that to this one kid. And this one kid wants to hug every girl there, man. He's like a little, little horny little hugger. You ever met a little... It's always the ones that they play like they're slow, but they're not really slow. They look slow, but they're not slow at all. They know what they're doing. They're straight up getting booby hugs, right? And the girls start figuring it out after the 10th hug. They're like, dude, you're trying to press up on my left booby here. You know what I'm saying? I felt that hand go right here. You know what I'm saying? So then now they start doing that football move. And it's crazy. It's like as soon as she comes in, it's like watching Sunday night football. It's like, oh, this is going to be good. It's like, boom. And a lot of them, but he surprise hugs some people and still get that booby hug. But I see how he does it. He comes off from like the side of side somebody and then he quickly goes in for the hug. And he's like, bam, and he gets it. But then she's like, oh, not next time. So next time she's looking at corners everywhere you can see she looking around for that little horny hugger so you gotta be careful with horny huggers guys even in church they have them in church too so be careful horny huggers gets the shoulder y'all need to be quick at it check your corners check your peripherals you know and they're tiny small so they try to hide in between people so you gotta look like you're looking for trolls or like um gremlins you know what I'm saying? They're small, so you got to be like, oh, shit, little slippery little bastard. Another thing is you should stay in front of other people that you trust. It prevents the hug from happening without your knowledge. So, therefore, he can't press up on you because you're, you're already close to somebody else. So, good to have a boyfriend.